I, d I can't quite believe it's over. It went so quickly. Yeah. Oh, it just feels so odd. Like, I feel like I'm a bit more in control of my life, slightly more in control of my life. You're very much in control of your timetable. Like, no one's really forcing you to do anything. And I think that's really nice that you have that choice. I think it just was a learning process. Every week it felt like I was like, there was more stuff to handle, more stuff to navigate around. I think the biggest challenge for me was like just the learning style is so different. There's yeah. so much, you know, self independent study. There's so much like effort that you have to put in yourself and it's quite strange like coming to that from school when it's so structured and you have mark schemes and you have like <laughs> you, you have a syllabus and everything's really clear. Um, here, I mean, you obviously do have that structure, but it's a lot more up to you to do it. I had never really written like sort of a long essay, like, longer than 500 words, so I don't know if you can even call something that's shorter than 500 words an essay, but um, yeah, so I, I'd never really sort of known how to sort of state a clear thesis and then back it up and then re, re reinforce what you've said in your essay in the conclusion, so I think that my writing skills have gotten so much better. Being treated like within the department, like you have actually interesting things to say about something, it's really nice, you know, you're not just learning stuff, but like you can interpret it in the way you want to and like being taken seriously because of that, like at least in the tiniest, tiniest bit, I think is like fascinating. So many readings are set for my course like every yeah. week and even though I might not do all of them, um, I feel like they've just like opened my mind to so much more. Read the introduction, read the conclusion <laughs> and then read the rest of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Make notes every week. Yeah, yeah. make Do the readings yeah, every yeah. week. <laughs> <laughs> Don't slack. Yeah. I just can't get over my walk to school every day. It's just so beautiful and I live so centrally. It's crazy to see like, you know, all the tourists and everything and I can call it my backyard. Uni in London is so different to and uni yeah, elsewhere. Yeah. Like, I visited my friends who are like outside of London and it's like, it's a much more different experience. At other unis you're not exposed to like different, like so many different groups of people because everyone's at your uni if you're at a campus uni. So everyone probably knows each other. And um, I like it here because you can sort of meet people when you're going out and they're, they're not all from LSC and they're not saying that you don't want to <laughs> at nice least the LSE people. I think it's, it's good being at the heart of everything because in a campus I guess you can feel in a bubble. Everything's happening around you, you're in the pulse, you're in the beat of the world. So, and that's what you want to be when you're at the LSE so you can go out and just experience that and be involved in all different ways. You're not this separate study bubble, you know. Yeah, I think you're really thrown into the deep end because London is so dynamic and fast paced and you know, you just you live in London and it's so different from anywhere else and you just have to fit in and I feel like it kind of well, like trains you for life in a big city and yeah. You don't get that anywhere else. Yeah. I really like doing swing dance and it was like a nice little community and it was just like it was so nice just on a Monday night to do something completely, not anything to do with study. Well, over Easter break I went to Israel with the Grimshaw Society and that was the most amazing experience. Um, I'd always wanted to go and I, it was just amazing actually going there and seeing the country and, and you know, understanding more about its social economic background and you know, the conflict going on there. It was really interesting. I'd probably say taking part in the open mic night with the music song, that was, um... I didn't really, know you I, did that. I did, yeah. Um, it's like one of the, one of the like, few times I actually sang in public, but it was, it, I really enjoyed it, and um, yeah, hopefully I'll be doing some more next year. I guess I think it's really important to pick, make sure you pick a course that you like or are really interested in, because that changes your entire experience at uni. Um, also, just being in a mindset where you're like open to everything and being really positive and like you will have such a good experience. Yeah, I'd probably say throwing yourself into as much as possible um, because especially that first term that you come in, that's the best time to like do stuff because once you get to Lent you start, like the focus starts to shift from um, sort of 
having fun and <laughs> <laughs> um, to sort of more exams and oh god I need to make a revision timetable I need to get ready for exams so I definitely say make take advantage of that first term because that will set the pace for what you're going to carry on doing like subsequently. Um, I think um, don't think that it's not for you like be open-minded I think don't come up with too many expectations and scare yourself um, I think just yeah wherever you are you'll find your tribe so don't worry.